go to ranch. Um, so it's December, what is it, December 30th, Luke? And so in the winter time here, this is kind of what we do. Um, you know, the cows don't have any calves. The, uh, we're waiting for the calves to come. So it's just winter time. We're just kind of in survival mode. What we do is we get our two-year-olds out. So essentially this is not, she's not actually, he's not actually two yet. He'll be two this spring by his papers. But, um, but what we do January 1 is all the horses have a birthday January 1. So January 1, we'll, we'll consider him a two-year-old. This is out of uh, what one of my studs and out of one of my mares that we raised and cloned here. And um, I just thought I'd kind of tag you along, show you how we kind of get him started here. We've got a couple days on this colt here, so he's pretty bronchy. Um, he's a cute little guy though, and he's coming along really nice. So hopefully we don't have, nobody gets bucked off and we don't have any wrecks today, but I've got Luke in here snubbing for me. And um, yeah, so we're just kind of tag it. Y'all kind of follow us along, see how we get along here. So first things first, we gotta get him saddled up. Um, I've saddled him a couple times here. Never brushed him off, so this is kind of the first time for that. He's acting, we gave him a couple days off. He's acting a little fresh here, so. And this by no means is a training video. I don't want to be one of those clinicians that act like they know how to, what they're doing. This is just what we do. So, don't be taking notes. So we, we've saddled him a few times, rode him a few times. Not much. And this won't be long today. All we're trying to do is just get, we want to get out of this round pin as fast as we can. So all I want to do is try to get where I can get on him and go. Get him saddled, get on him and go. So we don't, you know, my, my whole deal is, is used to we, we'd have several of these to start. This is the only one I've got for me to start this year. My other one, uh, she hit the fence and broke her neck. So it's gonna be an easy year for me. But we don't, you know, we don't tiptoe around these horses, these colts. You know, if they won't stand here for this, they're not gonna stand for anything else. So we might as well just go ahead and get them used to it. He's doing pretty good. Now the scary part comes up. Got to put it all together and pull it tight. He's still pretty fresh acting. You all right? You know, I don't like this cinch here. I like, I got some stiffer cinches that kind of bend under the horse. This one doesn't really bend under them. So you gotta to reach too far to grab them. I really don't like it. I'll try that. I usually use my lad to go reach through and grab them. But by the time I get there, I just go ahead and grab it. Easy. Easy, don't bite me. Hey, don't bite me. I wish you wouldn't bite me. So this is kind of the scary part here because you don't want to get about half tight and then him blow up and tear your saddle up. Scare the hell out of him, scare the hell out of me. So this is kind of my part where my lady goes all twisted up. That's all good. I mean, there's no use getting in a hurry here because this is all part of the training. Let's just take our time. 
Hey, easy, bub. You all right? Hey, don't, no. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. I know. I know. Hey. So he's trying to bite me, and I don't want to slap him, because I want to get this cinch tied up a little bit. I know. Hey, easy. Let me catch a hole here real quick. So it's not very tight right now, but I got a hole. What's up? Uh, you alright? This is kind of when they blow up. And the thing about these colts are, if they're, if they're really gentle, like if you really handled them a bunch and we don't, they'll jump on top of you. So we kind of like for them to be a little bit scared of us. So they don't, they're not on top of us all the time. But this colt here, even though we haven't held him much, he's really bad about getting right, right in my face. I, I really don't like it. And I, I've slapped him off me a time or two. So now I've got him tight. I'm gonna let Luke run him around for a minute before I get, before I get on him. Uh oh, that little kicking, that little act like you want to kick you. That's a bunch of crap, ain't it? Right there, hit that. I do like the way he moves, though. Don't you like? You like the way he moves? Yeah. He's really quick with that front end. I like the way he, he kind of rocks on them hawks pretty good too. So, so what Luke's doing, Luke's just running them around here. And the, what we'd like for him to do is just kind of travel out instead of being all, see that crap there? We don't, we don't want any of that. We just want him to kind of move out and relax a little bit with that saddle on before I get on him. Just kind of like that. That's kind of what we're looking for right there. That looks a lot better there, much better. I just get the feeling with this horse here that we're going to be castrating him pretty pretty fast. Not that he's that steady acting right now, but he kind of acts. He acts like he kind of pretty quick to bow up. Let's see. I think he's kind of gentling down pretty fast, though, don't you? I right, pull him around a little bit. I don't bet you want to do much. Just a little bit. Let him know he's hold, you got a hold of him. So what, what we're setting up is Luke, you know, Luke's got, Luke essentially he's got his, the snubbing horse, so just letting that horse know that, you know, he's he's tied to that saddle horn. So Luke will pull up here in just a second. I'll get on, get off, get on, get off, and then we'll ride off.
gonna be an easy day, huh? That's gonna be an easy day, huh? Are you riding now? If I can flip the rain a little better without that hook in there. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. That's pretty good, honey. I think I don't get bucked off of Yeah. Third ride is usually when I get bucked off. I was about to get bucked off. I wish I'd gotten bucked off one of, the, one of them. I don't know. I think that's a pretty good spot right there, huh? Catch him tomorrow. I'll step off of him and see if I don't get my head kicked off. See if I can pull that saddle off of him. You good? Huh? You gonna bite me? I don't think so. We're gonna have a little contest to name this horse. We haven't named him yet. So let me tell you a little bit about his history. He's out of a uh, clone called Clay's Little Peppy. And he's out of another, his daddy is a uh, CD Reloaded, which is, um, which is Sister CD Stud. Um, he's two years old. He's, he's a stallion right now. Of course, we'll gild him. But here, here's the contest. You drop a comment of what na what you think I should name him. If you, if we pick your name, I will send you a rotary coil cap that says rotary coil door gunner, all the good stuff on it. So that's to whoever I picked the name for. Like I said, we haven't named him yet and I, and I need some help. So drop me a comment on what you think this little guy ought to be named. That's kind of what we're doing this time of year. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Um, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram on the Mendota Ranch. And um, yeah, if you like this stuff, give me a thumbs up. Thanks. We'll see you.